Today we're going to be reviewing the IFM Indiana face mask. This is our first request video and we're really excited to be testing this face mask because it is also made in the US similar to the BNX that we proudly distribute. Let's go over the listing before we open the box up. This is the IFM Indiana face mask N95 respirator. This is a box of 25. They are a five layer face mask. They're currently sitting at a 4.4 out of 5 rating with almost 2,000 reviews. The seller is Amazon. Let's go ahead and open the box up. This is how it looks from the inside. So let's open this package up. This is how it looks. At this point, we've tested several different respirators from all different manufacturers. And my first impression of these respirators, they're definitely not as high quality as other face masks that we've tested. On the face mask itself, it's printed with all the NIOSH requirements. Let's try to pull these. Uh, I wouldn't go as far as saying that they are cheap, but there's definitely some room for improvement. Um, so this had been ripped. I'm going to get a new one. So let's try it on and see how it fits on my face. So this is how it looks on my face. I actually like the way that it's sitting. It's not tight fit on my face and I feel like it's having a good seal on this side. I'm going to try and play around with the nose wire. I am struggling a little bit to adjusting it to my face. Sometimes you just have to play with the nose wire a little bit to get the best seal. So I feel like that's the best that I can do. Now that you guys saw how it fit my face and gave you guys some feedback, let's go ahead and see how they perform with our TSI machine and see the filtration percentage along with the breathability. This is our TSI machine. We use it to test the particle filtration efficiency of a respirator or mask. Our testing procedure is inspired by NIOSH. We first remove the headband from the respirators before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then, we make sure that the respirator is completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. We tested three samples to get the most accurate information, so let's go over the results. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the face mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. As shown, filtration percentage for all three respirators was 98.63% or higher. We are glad that they are in business and that they are also made in the US. But as I mentioned earlier, this there is room for improvement. Overall, for the construction, we'll probably give it a 7 out of 10. When it comes to the fit, it did fit on my face pretty nicely. I didn't feel much of a leakage. The nose wire was a bit hard to play around with and try to fit my face, but a lot of respirators have that problem. And that also goes hand in hand with the comfort. It was a pretty standard comfortable face mask. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comment down below if you've tried these face masks, your feedback, and your feedback regarding the video, or any face mask that you would like for us to test out next. And also, don't forget to check the description box down below. We will have a lot of information, including our ma master data sheet and our website, which is acumen.com. And I'll see you guys in our next video.